Guys, deluded, I'm back again. Now, West Ham's a bit of a funny old club, um, and I've spoken with some West Ham fans, and none of them can tell me what's going on with Reese Oxford, really, because uh, quite rightly so, they don't know. And none of them can tell me what happened to Samuelson. I hope that's how you say his name, name right. I believe he only played two or three, literally, times, um, quite literally, um, for West Ham. But I, I can't see, like, this was a few years ago, and now he's what? Tw I looked, he's 21, turning 22 in April, I believe, and where is he? I personally feel he has a skill set that could benefit West Ham. Now, obviously, he's 21 turning 22, so he's not the finished article. Goals in this, he's a creative player, creative base player, wonderful technique, very cultured, all the sort of stuff you look for in a creative sort of attacker, he's got it. Um, because of the stage he is at, at in his development, he hasn't got goals and assists, but I can't understand how he hasn't been given a chance or an extended run in the side. And, I'm referring to this happened a few years. This happened a few years ago. In fact, I should really go on the internet and see when he actually played. But um, the guys, like the guy, honestly, people, the guy, I, I've always, I rated the guy. Like he, I saw him go on a couple loan spells. Martin Samuelson, for those who don't know, hopefully I've said his name correctly. Looking at his thing, he's contracted until 2020 by um, to West Ham. He's 21 years of age. Um, He's been at West Ham since 2015, which is mad. Um, previously, previously at um, at at Chelsea, and he was wanted by Real Madrid, madman. Um, since the ages of 14. So yeah, he made his debut in 2015. We're now what four years, four years in, three years into that. My maths was almost poor there. Three years into it, and he's nowhere to be seen. He just simply hasn't kicked on. Looking at Peter Bra, he made. Uh, let's let's look at his stats because I can't even read my handwriting in that one. Looking at his stats, it's, this is actually quite upsetting because I'm actually shocked. Like the guy is, the guy is sick. What probably goes against him is that he's one of them players. Um, he can play on, the, he can play cam, he can play on the flanks. But he's, he's one of them players. He, he he's more cultured. He's more cultured. Um, his his game is more technically based as opposed to flying into tackles and thingies like that. He's a bit Mesut Ozil-ish essentially. And obviously, like you saw with Dan Crowley when he was going on loans at, 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 um, at from from Arsenal. When you're these sort of players, going on loan is tough, especially when you go on loans like to Peterborough and Blackburn, because them and they're trying to get promoted. They're in a tough league. You could probably excel playing in your role, but the manager can't really go there and say, OK, I'm going to give this 18, 19 year old a start and he's not performing because he hasn't got time. He can lose his job. Um, people can lose managerial positions. You've got to, these people need to these sort of players need to find themselves in a position where a manager is able to say we'll give you scope to grow. We know there's going to be games you're going to show your maverick skills and you're going to be amazing. Other games it's going to be like playing with ten men because you're going to be anonymous. That's what goes against him. He's not mad. He's like I said, his game's more technically based, more passing based. He's not blisteringly quick. He hasn't got a thousand skills and he's not going to do the sort of stuff that gets you out of your seat. He can connect play and, can, and keep it moving. That probably goes against him. And even if you look at his stats, I mean, I can't... The reason why I'm looking at it is because I can't make sense of what I said about his Peterborough time. But he only played a handful of times for Burton and Blackburn on loan. Um, he's, gone on, he's gone to Venlo in Holland, which is more technically based, where he's made five appearances, playing 284 minutes. So that's that's a start. He's excelling in, in a more technical-based league. But looking at his stats, what he's played 32 times collectively. I think he went on two separate loan spells for Peterborough. But two loan spells for Peterborough or whatever. 32 appearances, three goals, two assists. Now contrast that with at under-23 level, which reads 32 appearances, the same amount. 12 goals, six assists. For Burton Albion, he only got one assist, failed to score, grabbed in nine goals. For Blackburn, he's only made he only made four appearances, and that's the end of that. West Ham, he's only made two Um Venlo he's made five and Burton Albion I've already said with nine so he's still somewhat struggling I mean if you look at his stats with Premier League 2 which is reserve league um, and then you go and contrast it to League 1 professional men's game it again tells you the struggles that young players have in that they're, they're fighting a race against time they're still developing finding their feet but the one thing we don't have in football is time. I mean, people would think of him and Dan Crowley at 21 years of age. They're washed up and finished. Really, their careers have just started at 21. Such is the demand of, of when you're in when you're in a spotlight from 14, 15 years of age. But looking at League 1, 28 appearances, 2 goals and the same goals for assists. Premier League 2, 26 appearances, 9 goals, 5 assists. In the Championship, he made 12, only managing an assist. Um, in the Eredivisie, Dutch top flight, he's made five appearances so far, so we'll have to see where that goes. But 
I thought he's at least good enough to be uh, to play a subs role or play a, or be included in the squad and play Carling Cup and be rotated based on some of the squads I've seen with West Ham. Can't understand what they're doing, but those more familiar with the matter know more than me. I'm not saying he's a world beater. He was amazing in that, but I see a, a man who's been capped before his country, before he's been given a chance at his parent club. Someone that I believe has the talent, and when I saw him play for Peterborough, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was, he made his appearances for, for West Ham, but I'm sure it was for Peterborough, we all saw a couple week, um, couple years back where he played quite well and hasn't been seen since, so it's quite it's quite a shame, man, his contract's up in 2020, to which he'll be, what, 23 years of age or so, he, maybe he gets a chance, maybe he's sold on, who knows, I would have thought Pellegrini, maybe something happened, but I would have thought Pellegrini would have taken a chance on him, especially because Lanzini's gone, gone, um, essentially out for the rest of the season I'm not saying he can do what Lanzini is but you never know until you give people a chance and he hasn't I mean his two two appearances are doubtful if it's 90 minutes um, enough to try and express yourself and show a club that you have worth I, most of you are competent enough to say no it isn't quite rightly so but I've got nothing more to add on that fun man guys DG get in the comments subscribe do the rest if you wish